Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn how you can add a new person in the existing chat and then also share the chat history. So it is very simple and easy. So say for example, you want to add a new member to the development team. Okay, so development team have has some members or say for example, uh, let's say go to the poll meeting or so we have this meeting, we have the chat, right? And then we have the other teams as well. So for example, you, you want to include new members to the poll meeting or a meeting so in the right hand side click on this person icon and then click on add people okay so here I can simply go ahead and type in the name of the person that I want to add and then also if you want to share the previous chat history you can include all the chat history or you want to share only the history from past couple of days select this second option and specify how many days of history you want to share for example I want to share only the past two days history you specify the number of days here if you don't want to include any chat history that has been there in this particular meeting here whatever was discussed here then you simply include or don't include the chat history okay I'll include everything there or just don't include any chat history and then click on add right so now you will see the number of people has changed and you will see that person whom I have added in the meeting is there added in this particular meeting right so you can add people in the meeting directly from the teams or say for example I want to add people in the group chat regression testing right so this is the group that have been created now here I want to add a new person so simply click on this person icon and then click on add people and then start typing in the name of the people that we want to add right so I have added them and this time let me include all the chat history so I'll include all of the chat history click on add and now this person who has been added will be part of this particular group and will be able to see all the previous chat history as well right so you'll see that notification here who added this particular person to chat and share all chat history so basically everyone who is part of this group now will be able to see that yes new person has been added and all the chat history has been shared with that particular person okay so this is briefly how you are going to add a new person to any group chat or to the meeting okay or you can go to the teams as well right so for example in the teams and channels you want to add a new person so I can go to this printers team okay and in the sprinters team I want to basically add a new member right so simply click on these three ellipses here click on add member and then start typing in the member that you want to add okay so I'll simply start typing in the member and then click on add and now this particular person will be added right so you'll see that this particular person has been added and here from the drop down you will see that you can basically select what sort of role they will be playing in this particular team so you can either make them owner or the member right so now because they are uh, the member so I'll just keep it as member and then you will see I can also add and remove tag names here as well right so for example this is uh, the dev dev team member okay and then I can create a new tag right and then simply close it so now if you see that in this particular team here sprinters team they will be basically part of all the channels basically you know all the channels that are there they will be having access to all of these details that are there okay so this is briefly how you are going to add the new members to any of the teams right or add them into the chat history of any of the group that you have created and share the complete chat history or you can add them to the meetings that are available here in your teams right and share the chat history with them as well so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching